The use of number for addressing is very efficient, but it is not easy to remember and people uh, find it uh, unattractive to use. Instead, we are having something called domain names, which is ASCII strings separated by period that gives us uh, addresses for host in the internet. The domain name is built in a hierarchical fashion where you start with a host string dot subdomain, maybe multiple subdomain, then a domain, and then a top level domain. Uh, what you see here on the right is an example, is a small portion of uh, uh, the uh, domain name uh, address uh, tree. At the top you have the root, and below it you have what we call top level domains. This can be either generic domain like .com, .net, or .org, or it can be a country code like .us for the US, UK for UK, IL for Israel, IT for Italy, etc. Below this top level domain there are other domain that they can be additionally divided to subdomain and subdomain. For example, in the case of the United Kingdom, we have a domain called AC for academic networks, and and part of the AC, in under the AC domain, there's so say OX, which is the domain name for Oxford University. So if I look at the host, uh, the host www.ox.ac.uk. Uh, this means that there is a machine called www, which is belonging to domain OX, which is Oxford University, which belongs to domain AC, which is the acad academia domain in the UK, which belongs to the UK. The same holds for, say, NetDice, which belongs to uh, the org top-level domain.